Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and I am live in my kitchen. In case you couldn't tell, this is my kitchen. Anyway, I am here, I am super excited about my fun recipe for tonight. It is a breakfast recipe. Lauren Lillian is in the house, I see her in the room. Mike Sherry, hey Mike, hey Aaron. Oh my gosh, it's the whole Hungry Girl staff all at once. Um, Lauren is waiting for comments. She is, I'm gonna share a secret with you. She's not in a good mood tonight. She's in a bad mood. Okay, the most important thing you need to do is cheer Lauren up because she's not, she's in a crappy mood. Anyway, I can't believe, maybe she's in a bad mood because tonight's recipe is not vegan. I am making all American breakfast dumplings tonight. I promised another air fryer recipe and so I am going to deliver in spades. The air fryer recipe du jour are these lovely air fryer all-American breakfast dumplings, and they are gonna rock your socks right off of your feet, I promise. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I don't even know the difference between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Anyway, tonight I am giving away lots of prizes. Hey, Barbara. Tonight, here are the prizes that you can win, and here's how you can win them. First, I'll tell you how you can win them. You can like this post, click hearts, preferably, rather than just a like, we like loves. Um, and in addition, you could win, oh, and also there's trivia questions. So I have a whole lot of trivia questions about breakfast. Thank you for liking my outfit. This is actually a new hoodie. Can you see the lightning bolt? It's pretty cute. Um, tonight, you're gonna have a chance to win one of my scratch art paintings. It's a, paintings, scratch art scratchings. It says, wake up and smell the all-American breakfast dumplings. Do you see that? If you like that, oh, we have a growling puppy. If you like that, click, say you wanna win it. It's okay, the puppy can growl, you could leave her. Um, we're, you can win this tonight, okay? Just say you wanna win it and answer questions. This is the back, it says, happy chewing, Lisa Lily in quarantine 2020. Beautiful. This will be perfect in your kitchen when you make the all-American uh, breakfast dumplings in your home. All right. So, uh, in order to win, you should just answer the trivia questions. It doesn't matter if you get the answers right or wrong, as we all know, because I don't even know if I know the right answers, so that does not matter. But I am gonna show you how to make those fabulous breakfast dumplings in your air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer, do not fret. I will tell you how to make them in the oven. Now, did you guys make the last uh, dumplings I made, the cheeseburger ones? I hope so, they were amazing. Let me know if you made them. In addition to that painting, that scratch painting, scratch art, you could win a Hungry Girl mug because I'm using a Hungry Girl mug tonight in the recipe. And also, Hungry Girl measuring spoons. I'm using both of these things, so because I'm using them, I'm giving them away. So you could win measuring spoons or a mug or my scratchy scratch art. But let's get started on the dumplings du jour. So, starting with, we wanna make these dumplings using all right, do you wanna know what's in them? It's gonna be eggs, cheese, and bacon. What could be more all-American than that? So we're gonna start by putting a half a cup of these here egg beaters, gotta measure a half a cup, in my Hungry Girl mug. I like using egg beaters because I save fat and calories that way. You could use egg whites, same deal. If you wanna use the whole egg, you can, but the calorie count and the fat count will rise accordingly. All right, so in this mug is a half a cup of egg beaters. Next up, we're gonna put the Old Faithful last wedge in the wheel, you could tell I love this stuff, of Laughing Cow cheese. If you don't have Laughing Cow, like say you don't have Laughing Cow in your house because you ate it all or because you forgot to buy it or I don't know what else, but you can use maybe like a tablespoon of like cream cheese. So if you have to make the substitute, do it. So there goes your wedge. By the way, if you have questions as I'm cooking, send your questions because I'm sure Jamie's in the audience, Aaron's in the audience, Lauren's out there reading comments, and I will answer your questions. So in this mug, we're gonna put a dash of salt, too. So I've got a mug with a half a cup of egg beaters or egg whites, I've got a wedge of Laughing Cow, and I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for a minute and a half or so until the eggs are cooked and the cheese is melted. I'm gonna stop it halfway to stir. 
Judy Off you go. She for lunch and loves them. Judy, I'm glad you love them. Those are excellent. So we're gonna stuff them with these gyoza wrappers. Let's say you're home and you don't have gyoza wrappers and all you have are wonton wrappers. That works. If you have egg roll wrappers, you'd probably, that would work too, but you'd have to figure out how many you need to use. But in the meantime, I have gyoza wrappers. I'm gonna use them proudly because they're amazing. You find these in the supermarket where the tofu is, okay? So wherever like the Asian foods at the supermarket are, that's where you find these and they're phenomenal. All right. Six to seven smart points for eight dumplings. That is true. Six to seven smart points for eight dumplings. What depending? On you have. Seven on green, six on blue and purple. So that's that's the way it is, people. Totally amazing. Can I tell you, I made these this morning, and there were eight of them, and now there are only three left. So that means I ate five. In case you're not good at math. So these, my eggs are cooking. I'm staring at them in the Hello Kitty microwave. It really depends on how your microwave works. They probably could cook in as fast as a minute or probably as long as two minutes. But I like to sort of check on them. And I know, wait, my, the Bonnie, the mug is great, right? Kite Hill cream cheese would be good with this. You're right, Kite Hill. Lauren loves Kite Hill cream cheese. All right, so the eggs are cooking nicely. I'm mixing them up. Now the cheese is starting to melt. I'm putting them back. You really wanna make this nice and fluffy. In case you have not seen my egg mugs, I should just do a whole egg mug demo one day because eggs in a mug are the greatest things on earth. Um, somebody says, where oh, the where do you get the wraps? At the supermarket in the tofu section. Somebody said their volume is gone. You know, some people argue that I sound better when you can't hear any volume at all, but I'm sorry. If, if that happens, then we're gonna post the recipe and we'll link to the recipe and I'll tell you where to get the recipe. Okay, continuing with the stirring. This is like almost done. You see how, look at the eggs, they look beautiful. Now I am fuzzy, am I fuzzy? Someone's having technical problems, but luckily it's not me. So we're still cooking the eggs in the mug by the way, an egg in a mug is the best thing ever. You don't even need to make it into a dumpling if you don't want to, but better if you do, because like, what am I doing here if you're not gonna make the dumplings? Lisa, does the laughing cow flavor matter? No, if you wanna be creative with your flavor, go for it. Go totally for it. All right, there's my fluffy eggs. My eggs are now complete. This, just to remind you, is a half a cup of eggs with a wedge of laughing cow. Do you see all the steam? Now we're gonna add what some might say is the best um, ingredient in this recipe. I don't know that I agree, but these are real bacon bits. This bag of bacon is just brilliant. It's an Oscar Mayer product. You need only one tablespoon of this bacon for the recipe. There's my Hungry Girl tablespoon. I threw it in there. And now you wanna mix that well. Click hearts if you love bacon. Woo, there it is. All right, I'm gonna let this cool. And while this cools, by the way, I've gotta swap out so we don't have to wait the full five minutes until it cools. But I'm gonna ask you some trivia and if you can get these trivia questions right or wrong, we will randomly give you a prize if we choose you. That's a lot of ifs. All right, now, this whole day is about breakfast. Americans eat breakfast, but a lot of Americans skip breakfast. What percentage of Americans do you think Skip breakfast. What percentage of Americans do you think skip breakfast? Guess. Not everybody eats breakfast. And I have to say these days with intermittent fasting, I bet even more Americans are skipping breakfast. But you tell me what percentage of Americans you think are skipping breakfast while I check out the eggs and how they're cooling. All right. You're gonna to wanna to let these cool for about five minutes because you don't wanna like, if you put eggs that are too hot and steamy in your wraps, it's gonna break through the wrap. They're just gonna like disintegrate. Then your eggs are gonna fall out in the air fryer. The cheese is gonna go all over the place. You're gonna open the air fryer and be like really sad and you're gonna cry. So what I have done is I have this beautiful swap out. These are eggs that I made about 25 minutes ago and I'm letting them cool but now they're super cool, like you. So now it's time to make the little dumplings. Is anyone answering? Someone said 40%, Betsy said 45%. No, actually 58% of Americans skip breakfast. 
that's like too many people, I would say. That's a lot of people, don't you think? Lauren? That is a lot. Oh, yeah. All right, while I start to fill the dumplings, my next question is going to be, Wheaties boxes usually have athletes on them, at least they used to, I haven't looked at them lately. What athlete has appeared on Wheaties boxes more than any other athlete of all time? I'll give you a hint. He has appeared, it's a he, and he's appeared on a Wheaties box 18 times. 18 times, who is it? In the meantime, I'm gonna start filling my little dumplings. It's gonna be approximately a scant tablespoon of egg mixture that goes into each one. But it's really an eighth of the mixture. But don't you hate when it says like, divide into eight portions without telling you approximately how much it is? I'm saying it's approximately a tablespoon. So take it for what it's worth. Can you see the little, could you see what I'm doing here? Did I position this well? Can you see the, uh, the angle? Kind of. Uh, you want me to, yeah, oh, I can see them. Yeah. All right, well, the thing is I bought a new iPad because I thought we'd get a better picture and then I'm too scared to use it. So I have it sitting on the counter, but next time maybe I'll use the iPad. All right, I am filling my little dumpling shells. So you guys, did anyone guess right? Does anybody know who, who it is who's been on the, I think John oh, Vaccaro. Oh, yeah, it's Michael Jordan. Lauren just gave away the answer. Well, people were guessing Michael okay, Jordan. Okay, all right. You see, she is crabby. Do you hear her attitude? Crab, crab, crab. Is anyone trying to cheer you up, Lauren? Mm -hmm. She's like, uh, uh, uh. All right, I have, <laughs> I have loaded these dumplings up. And they look pretty good. The question is, am I going to be able to close them? Or is there too much stuff in them? I don't know. Anyway, the answer is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has been on a Wheaties box 18 times. That's a lot of Wheaties boxes. Um, I am gonna also ask you another question while I seal these dumplings. The question is, what percentage of Americans have eaten cold pizza for breakfast? Hey, Lisa Fritz. Yeah, all right, Lauren says she's eaten cold pizza for breakfast. So wait, I'm gonna give you a little tip. When you wanna seal these dumplings, you want to moisten the edges. So you want to go around the whole thing with some clean water and clean fingers. And then you do your folding and you press and seal. Press and seal like so. Do you see what's happening here? You get a beautiful, gorgeous, adorable dumpling. Ta-da! All right. Um, now, what are you guys doing tonight? Tell me where you live and if you're like back to normal at all. Is anything open? They're saying here that restaurants might open, but if restaurants open here, you have to prove that you're dining with the person that you're quarantining with, and then you have to wear a mask every single part of your meal except when you're chewing your food. So who the heck is going is to go out to eat if they have to do that? I don't know. Um, what's the question? Oh, yeah, so how many Americans have eaten cold pizza for breakfast? Do you know? I can tell you the answer. It's 39%. Did most people guess higher or lower? Lauren? 90%. What did you say the answer was? The answer was 39%. Yeah, people were saying like 90%. No, yeah, well, maybe 90% of us have eaten cold pizza for breakfast. Um, so now I'm, I'm still sealing these dumplings. Is anyone talking about whether or not things are open where they live? Because things are pretty closed down here. They open beaches here, but they said if you go to the beach, you can't sit on the sand, you can't talk to people, you can't play frisbee. All you can do is like take a walk. So that's not so fun either. Um, we've got this dumpling done. Very good. People are saying some places are opening in like Texas and Oh, that's good. I saw Jenny said Andrew did yesterday. Andrew did what? Did he eat pizza for breakfast? Hold on. All right, I'm still sealing these. By the way, when these are sealed, they're gonna go in the air fryer for five minutes at 375 degrees. And that will make them golden brown. If your air fryer only does 370 or 380, I'd probably stick with 370. There you go. Denver, Colorado is not back to normal yet. Um, okay, still sealing these dumplings. These are so good. You can put, you can literally make desserts out of this. You can make lunches, dinners in dumpling form, especially if you have an air fryer. So 
They open restaurants near you. If Wait, wherever there are open restaurants, do you have to wear a mask and then prove that you're dining with the people that you live with? By the way, if I have to go out to eat with the people that I'm quarantining with, why not just stay home? Right? Am I wrong? Okay. I have two more dumplings to go. I'm going to ask you a trivia question. I have another trivia question. Are you ready? Put your thinking cap on. How many comments do we have, Lauren? How many people are trying to win? A thousand. Wait, there's too many trivia. There's too many trivia questions for you guys to only have a thousand comments. Are you ready for this? This is a really tough one. When you do eat breakfast during the week, what is the average time for Americans to eat breakfast on a weekday? What do you, it's a very specific time. What do you think is the average time for Americans to eat breakfast on a weekday? Mm -hmm. Any guesses? Oh, look at John and Jessica saying hi to each other. I love when you guys talk to each other. It's very cute. All right, there's my final dumpling. There are eight of them. So you get an eight serving, eight dumpling serving for 250 calories. And now they're going to go in, well, I'm going to spray them with a little spritz of Pam. That'll help them crisp up a tiny bit. Okay. Do we know what time Americans are eating breakfast? Guess. Anyone? 8.17. Close. It's 7.31 a.m. Talk about specificity. 7.31 a.m. You can eat these anytime. You don't have to do it at 7.31, 7.33. All right, this is going to go in the air fryer now at 3.75 for five minutes. We're set. Five minutes in the fryer and you're good to go. When they come out, they're going to look like this. All right, let's talk a little bit on the weekends, what time do Americans eat breakfast? Figure if it's 7.31 during the week, on the weekends, what time do you think Americans are eating breakfast? Because you have to figure it's gonna be a little later, but how much later? Is it like 11 a.m.? What is it? Can you make a bunch of these and freeze them? Um, yes, you know, you can. I have to tell you, I personally have never frozen these, but I've kept them in the fridge for a while, and then you throw them in the air fryer and they work. I would say they would work if you freeze them. So, yep, Peggy, 731. All right, if it's a weekend, it's 828. 828. So, there you go. Lori eats later at about 9 a.m. I have one more trivia question. All right, how many comments do we have? Um, let me refresh it. We're going to refresh to see how many comments we have because, remember, you're trying to win Hungry Girl measuring spoons tonight as well as a hundred. Huh, 2200? Yeah. 2200, that's good. All right, well, my other eggs have cooled now, so in theory, now we could have uh, stuffed the other dumplings. But this, you're gonna win a Hungry Girl mug. Your mug that you win is not gonna have eggs in it. You can win spoons, a mug, or my scratch painting that says, wake up and smell the all-American breakfast dumplings. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. Any questions for me? because I don't know how you did on my questions. <laughs> but the good news is you don't have to get any questions right in order to win something here. This is nothing like a real game show. Okay. Any comments, questions? Bueller? Oven instead of air fryer. Ah, instead of the air fryer, let's say you don't have an air fryer at home and you have an oven, you're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 375 degrees and just cook them until they're golden brown. So it's probably gonna be around 10 minutes. So it's, it's not hard to do. And you can even put them in the toaster oven. So there's no excuse. Jessica says no thanks. What is she saying no thanks to? No thanks to what, Jessica? Where can you get the recipe? You can get the recipe, are you ready? Get a pen. Hungry-girl.com slash breakfast dumplings. Hungry-girl.com slash breakfast dumplings. While you're at Hungry Girl, you should sign up for the daily emails. You can go to hungry-girl.com, sign up for the daily emails because we send them every single Monday to Friday. They rock, been doing it for 16 years and you need to get it. Lori, you love trivia. Okay, I'm trying to eat healthy during the pandemic. Help, that's what I'm here for, Bessie. Every night I'm giving you recipes so you could eat healthy during the pandemic. You guys, how have you been doing eating-wise? Are you finding that it's much harder to make good choices during this whole thing, or have you gotten it down to a routine? Like, I tr 
literally stop eating usually at four o'clock unless I'm doing a demo and I take a bite of something here. So thank you, Jamie. Jamie put up the link, hungry-girl.com slash breakfast dumplings. That's where you go to get this recipe. Let, I'm gonna check on them. Oh, they look good. They're like almost done, but I'm gonna let them go in for another minute or two. Okay. Tell me also what you've made. Have you made anything that I've been cooking? Did you make the banana bread? That chocolate chip banana bread was amazing. I loved it. When you been making your mug cakes for her and her son? Oh, the mug cakes are awesome. Do you want to see my Hello Kitty microwave? Hold on. Here it is. Do you see it? Hearts if you like the microwave. Am I giving a good view? Um, it's a little, uh, yes. Bam Bam is watching us. Okay. Very rarely do I move the camera in this very sophisticated operation of ours, but I decided to be crazy tonight to move the camera. Does your sweater look like a breakfast dumpling? I, maybe I look like a breakfast dumpling in my sweater. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, look, I think it's done. Oh my gosh, are these gorge. These are freaking beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. You can make them as golden brown as you want. This one is perfect. Ooh, it's beautiful. Eating half the time. Trying to get back on track. I'm reading everybody's comments too. Anybody saying anything of interest? I feel all alone. No? Maybe not. You're making your rice cake pizzas. Yeah, the rice cake pizzas are pretty good. All right, these are the breakfast dumplings. I'm afraid that the ones I just made are too hot, so I might just break open this one just to show you what the inside looks like. Do you see that? It's bacon, cheesy, eggy goodness. And you get to eat a lot of them for 250 calories, so I would say it is a very satisfying breakfast as evidenced by the fact that I ate five of them this morning with some fruit and I loved it. Okay, remember tonight, you're winning this scratch art, or you're winning this mug, or these spoons. You're gonna go to get the recipe at hungry-girl.com slash breakfast dumplings. While you're there, you're gonna sign up for the Hungry Girl Daily emails, and you might as well listen to a few episodes of the podcast. That's all I got for you. Anything else? Because I'm gonna go in a minute and take a walk. I guess not. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are the absolute greatest. I will be back over the weekend with a fantastic new frozen coffee drink. So I know you guys love my coffee drinks. I'll be back this weekend with a lovely and delicious coffee drink that you're gonna flip over. So just uh, wait for that. Till next time, you know what to do. Chew the right thing. <laughs>